Hello friends, in this video we will uh, see how to raise a cash receipt in Plum Code ERP cash receipt. It can be accessed in two ways, in the dashboard section under the accounts, uh, you will find a cash receipt over here. The other one can be accessed uh, in the accounts menu under receipt vouchers over here. So cash receipt is created by a company when the company receives the money from an external source uh, such as uh, customers or bank. So here this is our cash receipt and now we can create a customer from whom we are going to receive the amount for which we will have to go to uh, the accounts section under the masters. We are going to select the customers over here and uh, we will be creating the customers first and then we will come back to the cash receipt and make the entries in the cash receipt. So first field in the customer is the ledger code and the customer code which are auto generated fields uh, you can change it anytime so then uh, next is the customer name and the customer group has to be selected And the fields over here are on, uh, the details which is uh, related to this particular customer which are not mandatory however it is always good that you fill in the details and then click the save button the, once the details are all filled in. Once the data is saved you will get the prompt saying that the data saved successfully. That is when you can be sure of the uh, data is successfully saved into the record. So this is the message that we got. And now we are going to exit customers. So now we are back to the cash receipt. Uh, in the cash receipt, the first field is a series which is always uh, default. The second one is the voucher number, which is an auto generated field. However, you can change it. The cash account is the account to which the amount is getting credited. So which can be selected from the drop down menu over here. And the second uh, field is the accountant field, which is uh, uh, the person who will be making the entry in this cash receipt. So here, I'm going to select SP admin, and here it is the date field, which is the current date and the entry date. Why the two dates are provided is because uh, the entry date sometimes it can differ from that of the current date. So, which can be selected from the down arrow key. Uh, suppose it is first of December and then the, the, the below one is the current date the days over here it is the al hijrik dates and the field over here is the memo and this which uh, you can uh, enter the details related to this particular cash receipt now we'll come to the details section uh, here we are going to select the ledger code which is the customer which we created just now So this is the customer that we created just now and that is the amount we got to enter under the amount field and these are all the narrations uh, related to this particular entry and once the details are filled in you can click the save button. So once the record is saved it will uh, the voucher number will be changed into the next voucher number that is when you can be sure of the data is completely saved so here the voucher number changed and the it's a new screen that has come up so once you make all the entries in the cash receipt if you want to see all the cash receipt in one glance you can go to this find button and here you will see all the 